Hi, this is YC, and today I'm going to show you my simple southern macaroni and cheese. And as you can see in this pot, I have melted four tablespoons of butter, that's half a stick, and I'm sauteing half of a medium onion. And you can leave the onion out if you want. And this is almost done sauteing, so I'm going to go ahead and add my spices at this time. And I'll have everything in the description for you. You can see here that I'm going to be putting a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of onion powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And if you don't like hot stuff or you're not supposed to have it, you can leave that out just like you leave the onions out. All the spices um, and flavorings are, you know, of course, your choice. Okay. And we'll go ahead and mix those in with the, uh, the onion at this time. Oh, it smells really good. I love the smell of that onion and garlic. Okay. There. And then at this time, now that those are mixed in, you're going to want to go ahead and make a roux because we're making a sauce for our simple southern macaroni cheese. We're going to go ahead and put in about four tablespoons, kind of heaping, of uh, uh, all-purpose flour. And like I said, I'll have all this in the description for you. And you're going to want to use a whisk like this. And just go ahead and stir it until it gets really thick, of course, like a roux. It's going to look like a paste, kind of. Okay? And that's what you want. When it does this, you know that it's, it's, it's working, it's doing the right thing. And this is going to be how you get your sauce to thicken. Okay, and then you're going to want to put in, um, mess up one egg, and then one and a half cups of almond milk and a half a cup of half and half. And pour all that in. Then, of course, stir again. And you're going to want your heat to like a medium, like a medium high. Don't want to do it, you know, too high because, you know, milk can uh, burn and curdle and everything else and become a real mess. So you're going to constantly stir this until it thickens. adjusting my heat here. And I have already um, boiled uh, some water and um, uh, made two cups of elbow macaroni. So you want to measure out two cups and then, um, you know, have your macaroni already done. And while this is trying to fit, thicken, I'll show you. I am using a, if you can see it, a square dish. Corningware is what I'm using. And you can see how I've got butter in it. I've buttered it. Uh, a square corningware dish. Okay. And then um, I'm going to pour my macaroni noodles in that. Okay. So, let me see if I can get those. And I've already cooked them and drained them. You can see them in this colander. And I'm just going to pour them in the bottom 
if I can do it gracefully with one hand in the bottom of this corningware dish. It wants to give me a hard time here. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to loosen them up and they're steaming hot still. But I wanted to drain them really good. Okay, now let's go back over to see how our sauce is doing. And it's starting to get a little bit thicker. And I think my, I don't know, you know, how your stove is, but mine's kind of like between number six and seven right now. My burner, but I don't know, you know, how yours would be, you know, medium to medium high. Just be patient with it. It'll thicken because you remember all that flour that you have in here. Okay, and when you get all this done, and again, I'm going to have this in the description, but you're going to have this uh, covered it's going to be a covered dish and it's going to go in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes and you want it covered because if you don't the cheese on top just gets really really hard and no one likes that you want a, like a soft cheese macaroni right you want it ooey and gooey okay and um, like if you have the time to do this it's wonderful because it you know it's not um you know like the little mixes you can get that you just use during the week or when you're having an economical week how you'll just use like like a craft mac and cheese out of the tall boxes that are 33 cents a box and I mean those come in handy when you have to use them you have to use them but when you can take the time and do it from scratch like this for an occasion that is special or maybe even around Thanksgiving or something it, it's really good if you can do everything from scratch shows that you know you put your uh, effort into it and a lot of love into it for your family and this is a simple way of doing this okay this is really getting thick now I don't know if you can see that yeah it's really getting thick now so I'm going to take this whisk out of here okay and I wonder if I can show you somehow you see how it's a lot thicker thicker you can see that and um, at this point you're gonna already have shredded an eight ounce brick um, of cheese you want to put in three quarters of that because you're just keeping a quarter cup I mean not a quarter cup but a quarter of the, the brick for the top of your macaroni and cheese go ahead and put in you know most of it just keep some for the top okay sorry about my hand there you see how I'm just and I'm going to turn it off at this point because this cheese is going to melt real quick and I don't want my um, sauce that I made with milk to, you know, singe or anything like that. See how it just melts right into it. Okay. And don't worry if your macaroni is still... You know, if it's not really, really, really cooked all the way through, don't worry because you're going to be putting this in the oven. So you don't want mushy noodles anyway. You know what I mean? Okay. And let me see here. I'm going to need two. Oops, I'm going to need two hands. Sorry. If I can reach this, I will let you see this. See how much you see this. <laughs> Not very good, evidently. Well, I'm just going to pour it in here and then I'll show you. Sorry about that. I just, I need to be an octopus and have several hands. You get to see my ugly burners okay so let me show you okay you can see that I've poured it on top of my noodles let me move this over and then you just you stir it in like this as best you can and sometimes I have it more milky than this and you can actually if you like yours you know more milky than this you can actually add more okay this 
looks delicious. Okay. All right, now, you're gonna leave it like this now, and you're gonna put um, some more cheese on top of it. Got, got all my dirty burners here. Okay, it's that time of year to get them all scrubbed up again and, re and replace them for all this holiday cooking. Okay. You just put some across the top like this and it's covered and like I said it goes into a 350 degree oven um, for 30 minutes and I'll show you what it look, looks like when it's done and that's it simple southern macaroni and cheese <laughs>